Right, well I don't know how many people have had uh, version 10 come through on their Model 3 yet, but this is version 10 on the Model 3 in the UK. Behold, a right-hand drive vehicle. There you go. So, uh, just go through the release notes. There's, if you like your games, there's Cuphead Tesla Edition, Tesla Theatre, which allows you to watch movies when your car is in park. I'll show you that in a second. Karaoke, you don't want to hear my singing, so I won't show you that in a second. Uh, the driving visualisation has been changed just the same as I showed you earlier on my Model S. Um, feeling lucky, feeling hungry, etc. Uh, I showed you that too. Maps improvements. So yes, uh, this was I didn't show you this on my Model S. If you tap on a pin on the map, it will ask you if you want to navigate there or call it. Uh, call the place, so that's quite handy. The mobile app's been improved. improved. You can vent and close all of your windows from the app. So let's have a look at that. This is what it looks like on the Model S. Um, that's my Model S, and you can see the vent roof on the top left here uh, of the app display. But uh, let's just switch across to the Model 3. And uh, now if you go to controls, you can see the vent button at the top is for the windows and not for the roof. So there's a little bit of a difference there between the Model 3 and the Model S in the app. Uh, obviously the Model S can vent the roof if it has a sunroof, so the window vent isn't needed. Dash cam will now um, record and store footage from the rear facing camera as well as the forward and side cameras. That's a massive improvement. Plus it will also, uh, sentry mode will stop filling the, the, uh, filling the drive up, your USB drive up, and it will delete the older files. So that's quite a huge improvement. Joe mode, same as previous on the Model S. Software update improvements uh, shows you the progress of um, the version, shows you what version is being downloaded. So that's uh, that's interesting. Uh, Bluetooth media improvements, um, 48 kilohertz sample rate. I didn't see that on mine, on my Model S. App launcher, they've put the phone on the right hand side just as before, and driver profile. Um, it will save many settings to your driver profile. So drivers, in addition to your seat, mirror and steering wheel positions, your car automatically saves many settings to your driver profile. So you can see when a setting is saved because it will show you this symbol here. Right, so what I'm going to do is take you to somewhere like uh, Christchurch. Let's go into Christchurch Town Centre and we'll zoom in and have a look at some of these places. So if I wanted to go navigate to the Red House Museum. I just tap there and you can navigate, call it or see the website um, on your screen. And so that's very handy uh, and any of these, um, any of these like the Regent Cin Cinema there, navigate, call or website. So that's quite uh, quite an improved feature that is you can just tap on a, a pin and navigate straight there from the maps. Right let's just have a look at Tesla Theatre and see what we can do with that. So if I go uh, here and go to entertainment so we should now have theater tab at the top and we've got Netflix, Hulu, YouTube and Tesla tutorials. Let's tap up YouTube. And um, wow, uh, there's all kinds of stuff on here, but uh, I will do a non-copyrighted video. That's what I'll show you because I'll show you one of mine. So model, Three UK collection, and then I can't be done for copyright copyright because oh look, there's my video, and there's an advert which I'm going to skip. Skip ads. This is our i three going. So we're in park, and uh, that's my, I'm sitting in the same driveway right now actually. Um, it's actually really good quality. I'm impressed. The video quality is excellent on there. Nice, nice screen quality. So obviously you're getting a bit of um, so this is the, uh, and if I put the car in drive, this, what will happen? It'll automatically cancel that. So as soon as you put the car in drive or reverse, um, the the uh, video is stopped from playing. So that's uh, important to know that you can't watch anything while you're driving because obviously it will be very dangerous. 
Right, well that's a quick look at the new software version 10 for the Model 3. If you have any questions, uh, please ask and I'll try and cover any features for you in comments or in a further video. Thank you for watching.